Hi everyone, I'm Annie and I'm excited to bring a word on teachability to you today, day 18 of the 30 day challenge. Today is going to be a good day because the Lord has given us today. Uh, today I want to share with you a few verses that the Lord has spoken to me over the last few months that have really transformed um, my life and transformed my mind because it's fresh word from God. It is fresh manna from heaven. Uh, it is a word that I know and believe is going to uh, sharpen you and encourage you and mold you to become more and more like him. Something I love about the word of God, and we see this throughout all of Paul's writings, but really throughout the entire Bible, is that the word, not only do we read the word to understand it, but it reads us and it, it can evaluate where we're at. And the Holy Spirit speaks to us and says, you need to grow here. This needs to change a little bit here. It's really, uh, it's the wonderful complexity of our relationship with the Lord. So today I'm going to read to you a couple of verses, and I hope that these verses are really just an encouragement and an upliftment to you uh, to see who God has placed in your life and what God has placed in your life uh, to shape you. So I'm going to start with verse two, or excuse me, chapter two, verse three. It says, do nothing from selfishness or empty conceit, but with the humility of mind, regard one another as more important than yourselves. Humility of mind means that you can look around at those around you and you can look at the word of God. You can look at different life's, life's different circumstances and recognize, I don't know everything. I don't have it all together and I need help. Um, and that's the first step in humility is to recognize that you don't have it all figured out and that you need help. I love verse uh, six in chapter one of Philippians. It also says, I'm confident of this uh, thing that he who began a good work will perfect it until the day of Christ. That means we're not quite fully there yet, but that we are growing and we are learning. We are becoming more and more like him being made into his image. And it's his goodness that speaks to us and transforms us and leads us to that place. I lastly want to leave you with this verse. It says, finally, my brethren, rejoice in the Lord. I'll write these things to you again. It's no trouble to me. It's to safeguard you. This is Paul at the beginning of chapter three, just saying, it's no trouble. It's no trouble to write it again because this is what's going to change you. And so if you need to hear this lesson over and over again, it's a good thing. It's always good to remember to keep the mindset of humility that doesn't regard yourself as more important in having it all together, but that recognizes I'm going to learn from what God teaches me, how God shapes me. He is the potter. I am the clay. So my message for you today is to, to let the word read you and be transformed by his goodness and his love. God bless you all.